Okay, right. How are you, uh, Kritovs? Uh, as I said earlier, that um, shall meet today. So today we are going to discuss uh, paper two, uh, in particular um, the one for November twenty twenty two. Okay, right. Um, Kritovs, remember I always tell you that uh, before we can actually kick start into answering any particular question. We should always pay much attention to uh, the information given. Um, remember, remember, um, remember, we should always uh, take into account that uh, section A always compulsory and section B. We are given uh, three questions, and the expectation is to come up uh, or select uh, only two questions. While in section C, you are given uh, two set of questions, and the expectation is to uh, select uh, one question. Right. So now, um, moving on to the first question, the first question, which is question one. Question one is as follows. Various options are provided as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer and write only the letter A to B next uh, to the question numbers. So in brackets, you are given Set of example 1.1.1, 1.1.5, 1 and also the expectation is to answer or write this in your answer book provided. Okay, right. So now 1.1.1 reads as follows Aisha applied the leadership style um, when she used her personality to motivate her employees to work hard. Okay, right. Remember, great jobs always tell you that. Whenever you are faced with multiple test questions, you should always uh, apply uh, the method or the technique or the strategy that we call elimination method. So in this regard, our A uh, is democratic, and our B is autocratic, and our C is uh, charismatic, and our D is uh, transactional. Okay, so now A, democratic. Democratic is that kind of leadership style where a leader normally um, involves subordinates when it comes to the decision making in a particular company. And also when it comes to B, which is autocratic. Autocratic is the type of leadership style where a leader normally uh, doesn't involve any subordinates when it comes to the decision making in a particular company or particular business. So now C, we have charismatic. Charismatic is when a leader is able uh, to, to apply jokes when working with uh, the subordinate. Meaning, uh, in this regard, uh, when it comes to decision making, uh, it is going to be very easy because um, subordinates are always uh, being, what, uh, being entertained. Meaning, in this regard, charismatic leader is the one that possesses a uh, good uh, personality where uh, each and every employee will feel jolly uh, whenever they are around that particular person. Okay, right. Also, have transactional leadership style. So, this one of transactional leadership style, when a leader applies uh, uh, or gives out uh, a token of appreciation uh, to those employees who finished their what their tasks or activities within a stipulated time period or within uh, the deadline time period. Also, uh, in this kind of leadership style, a leader in this regard normally punishes those. Uh, subordinates or those employer, those employees who normally fail to finish the task as um, anticipated or as planned according to the time period or deadline. Then the appropriate answer, if we check here, is going to be C. Meaning C in this regard is our appropriate answer. Okay, right, great talk. So now moving on to the next question. Next question we have 1.1.2. So 1.1.2 reads as follows. The shareholders of Zizwe Trading were issued their shares as compensation for unpaid dividends. So now in this regard, the unpaid dividends, we have what? We have um, A. And then our unpaid dividends here, we have A. A is the bonus shares. Remember this one of bonus shares? They are given because um, the employees or the, the investors uh, were not uh, paid their dividends uh, uh, during the course of the of the year. Okay, right. 
So now moving on to uh, the next question. Next question we have um, 1.1.3. Uh, 1, uh, so now 1.1.3 1. 1. are read as follows. Um, the presenter should this uh, when preparing for a presentation. So in this regard, the presenter should always uh, create um, uh, creative, create what? Uh, visual, visual A. Okay, right. So now we also have 1.1.4. 1.1.4 uh, reads as follows. For donor doors appointed both male and female employees in my general positions to deal with as dash as diversity. So now, if we check in this regard, remember diversity is when uh, 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 that particular company involves or, or, or looks at different aspects. In particular, they check the age, they pay attention to the age, they don't discriminate in any worker because of the age they have. Also, don't discriminate any 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 person because they are female or, or, or male. Also, don't discriminate because of the language that they speak. They also don't discriminate because of the culture that you follow. So in this regard, our appropriate answer is going to be is going to be um, B. Robert answer in this regard is going to be B. B. Why? Because now this addresses the issue of male and and female. Okay, right. So now moving on, we have 1.1.5. 1.1.5 reads as follows. Reading uh, dealt with uh, and dash as a type of digital personality when they listen to driver's criticism without acknowledging race. So now this uh, personality that they are referring to in this regard, they are referring to a complainer. This is a complainer. Okay, right. So now moving on, we have 1.2. So 1.2 reads as follows. Complete the following statements by using the words provided in the list below. Write only the words next to the question number 1.2.1 to 1.2.5 in the answer book. So now, if we check there, what do we have? Uh, we have um, we have uh, insurance and the insurance. Also, we have economic, we have ethical, and then we also have accountability, and we also uh, have um, uh, RSA retail savings bonds. Also, we have non-insurable. Uh, also, we have social. Also have uh, unit trust. Also have um, professional. Also have uh, uh, what we also have a uh, responsibility. Okay, right. So now I'm uh, moving on to one point two point one. Uh, the question reads as follows: Psyche invested in dash as it will allow him to cash in without penalties when he needs the money. So in this regard, our appropriate answer is a unit trust. Unit and then moving to 1.2.2, changes in technology can be regarded as dash risk, as a non-insurable risk. And So now moving on to the next question, 1.2.3. The employees of Lake Consultants show this behavior as they apply the business code of conduct when uh, dealing with um, clients. So the behavior that they are showing in this regard are professional. Okay, right. So now moving on to the next question. Next question is as follows. The rise, the dash rise of employees allow them to participate in a legal strike. So the appropriate answer here is economic. Okay, right. So now moving on to the next question, we have 1.2.5. Businesses apply DASH as a king code principle when they appoint external auditors for the, their financial statements. So in this regard, uh, the principle of King's code here that they are addressing is accountability. OK, 
Okay, right, grade 12. So now, uh, let's move on to the next question, which is uh, 1.3. Remember, I always tell you that whenever you answer this type of questions, always make sure that you pay attention to the concepts given in column A and the, the description given in column, column B. So now, column A, we have a situational leadership theory, and this situational leadership theory normally um, we just analyze the business objectives to an appropriate leadership style. And we also have uh, 1.3.2 is security. This one of security uh, normally it applies uh, to long term uh, insurance. Also, we have 1.3.3, which is private company. Normally, this private company um, was for uh, where it raises capital by selling shares uh, to some shareholders. Okay, right. So now we have corporate uh, social responsibility. This one of corporate social responsibility uh, normally improves the image of the business and increases uh, profit. And then the last one we have 1.3.5 is set values. And this one of set values uh, normally uh, team members show respect uh, for, the, for the knowledge of their uh, team uh, members. Meaning uh, the answers that we have for this are uh, 1.3. Um, one, we have F, and then the next one, uh, we have D, and the next one, we have um, G, and the next one, we have A, and then the next one, we have um, B. Okay, right. So now moving on to uh, the next question, because we have actually completed uh, question, I um, mean, question one, which is compulsory under section, section A. Okay, right. So in this regard, uh, we are in, we have actually landed on section two. And this section, do you remember, comprises of um, questions of which the expectation is only to say uh, So now, if we check uh, this, um, the question reads: the question reads, um, name any four examples of long-term insurance. So in this regard. The long-term insurance that we are going to refer to, we are going to check life cover policy, we are going to check disability policy, we are going to check funeral insurance, as well as health insurance. So many years, uh, we are going to say that we have number one, we have life cover. Okay. Also we have disability policy. Also, a funeral insurance. Also, have um, health insurance. Okay, right. So now, now we are we are done with uh, question two, point one. Let's move on to point three. Two point two uh, reads as follows: Elaborate on the meaning of excess as insurance concept. So now, here we are expected to give two points because um, we have four marks. So now, excess it means higher excess amount by keep the insurance premium lower and discourage uh, fraud. Also, excess payment prefers the insured from claiming uh, for minor damages. Saying that one uh, excess on Excess amount, keep the insurance the insurance 
מתים מהמלואה. Right. So now, another point said that excess payment excess payment when the insured Claiming Anna Amen. Okay, right. So now moving on to 2.3, identify the type of visual aid that was used by Nissan while presenting in each statement below. So now, uh, if we check here the presentation below, uh, 2.3.1, you have um, PowerPoint or data projector. Data. Then the second one, we have, um, he provided the audience with hard copies of his presentation at the beginning of the session. So it means that he was giving them an out. An out. Or flyers. Or brochure. Okay, right, great house. So now moving on to 2.4. 2.4 is as follows. Ex explain the differences between limited liability and limited liability. So now when we talk of limited uh, and unlimited liability, limited liability uh, means that the affairs of the business and the affairs of the uh, personal owner, they are totally different. But unlimited liability shows that the affairs of the business and the affairs of the uh, personal owner, they are not um, are different. So now, here it means that um, you are going to see that uh, limited liability, going to take this one, losses, limited, Amount that the owner vested in the business. You're right. So now when it comes to limited liability, disregard the liability of the owner pay. Hey. Not limited the 
Okay, right click 12. So now, moving on to the, the next question. Next question, we have um, question 2.5. 2.5 addresses the issue of um, Johannesburg Stock Exchange. So describe the functions of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. So remember, when we talk of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, uh, we refer to what? We refer to uh, the platform uh, where buyers of the uh, shares as well as sellers of the shares come together uh, to me. So now one of the functions is that uh, shares are valued and assessed by expect and then uh, the second one uh, it regulates the market for trading in shares and also encourages short-term investment. So now we are saying that um, the one encourages Investment, short-term investment, sorry. It also regulates market. Trading in shares. The last one, shares are valued and Says the expert. Okay, great job. Now we are done with uh, two point five. Let's move on to two point six. Two point six um reads as follows. Capello invested an amount of seven thousand. Amount of seven thousand in a fixed uh, deposit at ten percent simple interest uh, per year over um, a period of two years. So now the expectation is to calculate the simple interest uh, that Tabelo will receive after uh, two years. Must also make sure that you show all your uh, <coughs> calculations. So now, great job. If we check um, in this regard, in this regard uh, we have. Um, interest which is equivalent to principal amount times um, uh, the rate that is given and then times the, the time zero. So now here we have 7,000 times uh, the rate given which is 10 percent times uh, total number of years which is two years. So now the total amount that we are going to get is 1.4. So now our answer is going to be 1,400 francs. OK, right. So now let's move on to the next question, which is 2.6.2. Discuss the impact of fixed deposit as a form of investment. So now if we check the marks given, the marks given we have what we have, um, we have uh, six marks, which means this calls for uh, Three points. And remember, since the question just said, it says that uh, we only have to give the impact, it means that we can also include the positive as well as the negative. And also remember, great jobs, I always tell you that you should pay attention to action verbs. Like now, the question says that you must discuss. You must know the expectation when the question says discuss. So, in this regard, um, you can actually take into account that investors can choose the investment period that suits them. And also, it has a low risk as investors are guaranteed of the final payment. So those ones can be considered as the positive one. But when it comes to, ne to negative ones, low returns compared to uh, other investments means the returns here are very low. Okay, right. 
So now uh, we are saying that positives, we are saying that um, investors, can choose investment period and the second one Has a low risk. As investors, guarantees Last one, then that it has low return. They try the investment. Okay, right. So now we have now landed on question 2.7. Question 2.7 reads as follows. Uh, advise businesses on the advantages of insurance. What are the advantages of insurance? And if we check, we have four marks. Things that we should give our two points. Insurance uh, transfers the risk from the business uh, to an insurance uh, company. Also transfer a risk uh, in the subject uh, in terms of the conditions of um, insurance uh, contract. Okay, right. So now here we are saying that uh, the first point transfers risk from business Insurance another one in that transfer is where of this. Subject M M ten condition of the Lawrence. Okay, right. So now we have landed on what? Uh, <clears throat> question 2.8. So now question 2.8 reads as follows. Suggest the ways in which um, uh, the presenter can handle feedback after presentation in an uh, aggressive and professional manner. So in this regard, um, the presenter can uh, keep answers short and straight to the point. And also the, the presenter should make sure that encourage questions from the audience. And the, the presenter should always answer questions, not directly. Okay, right. So now we're saying that in this regard, the presenter should give answers. Not
also encourage questions from the audience. Okay, right, great job. We are now done with question two. Let's move on to the next question, which is question three. Question three uh, reads as follows. Name any four human rights in the workplace. So now, remember in the workplace, as an as, 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 as employee, we should have a privacy, dignity, and equity should be practiced, as well as the information should be given to the, as, um, the employee. So now we are saying that there should be privacy, Dignity, equity, as well as. Okay, so now moving on to 3.2. 3.2 reads as follows Outline the roles of the health and safety representative to protect in the workplace environment. So now it means that this um, to all workers. Also, should identify potential dangers in the workplace. Identify dangers in the workplace. Also, Show that provided available always. Okay, right. So now, great job. Let's move on to the next question, which is um, 3.3. 3.3 reads as follows. Zuki and Jane are supervisors at um, Dagalani Traders. They do not speak to each other because they have different views. Management arranged a pre-negotiation between in which Zuki and Jane expressed their views separately. They were given the opportunity to agree on the best solution. They were also advised to refer the matter to the CCMA if they were not uh, happy with the outcome. So now, 3.3.1 reads as follows. Go two steps in the handling conflict from the scenario above. So now, if we check there, we have two sentences which says management arranged a pre negotiation meeting in which Suki and Jane expressed their views separately. Second one, they were given the opportunity to agree on the best solution. Last one, management changed the position meeting. and Jay express their view second one Say that they were given opportunity to 
Mark three. The best solution. Okay, moving on to the next question. Next question we have um one, I mean three point three point two, which says describe other steps in handling conflict in the workplace. play. Remember, uh, when the question uh carries um smart, the expectation is to come up with um um a three point. So in this regard, um they should identify the cause of the conflict. Also, they must monitor progress, ensure that the conflict has been resolved, and also those expect on handling conflict from outside the business. So now you're saying that and identify cause. Let that monitor progress. So, so that conflict has been resolved. Also, it said that they should source okay. and play outside the business. Okay, right. So now moving on to 3.4. Explain ways in which businesses can deal with unemployment as a socio-economic um, issue. So now if we check here, we have six points, meaning that we must come up with uh, three points. So now they should provide skills development programs to leadership and also offer bursaries uh, to the community to improve level of education. As well should they uh, also the jobs for members of the uh, community where the business actually operating from. Okay, right. So now you're saying that uh, the jobs members of the community. Second one, eight, let's say they must offer, let's say they should offer, let's say they must offer, that's how it is. community, Last one for high school. Development. Them. 
learning. Okay, right. The twelve. So now moving on, we have our question three point five, which is as follows: Take carpet. Take carpet is a large business that uh, specializes in the manufacturing of carpet. So TC did not display uh, all their income to the South African Reserve um, Services for the previous financial year. Employees make personal calls during um, working hours. TC also used fine print to hide important information promoting their product. They identify two, two types of unethical business practices um, applicable to uh, TC, and you should motivate your answer uh, by quoting from the scenario. Remember, the 12, when the question says you must call, expectation is to pick uh, answer from the given set of scenario exactly the way it is. So don't change anything. So in this regard, we are even given uh, the table as a guide that you must uh, follow. So now here, if we check the 12, uh, we have we have um, type of an ethical, and the types that we have, we have taxation. And we also have uh, unfair advertising, taxation. Then we have unfair advertising. This time we can just say tax. So now here we have TC. Not. This is paid. TC did not display all for the bigger financial year. Meaning this one, um, the second sentence is the one that uh, shows what uh, that shows that um, this is in line with uh, with our taxes tax preparation. So remember, you should write the, the sentence the way it is. Don't uh, keep anything. So now the second one, I will say that TC also used. Tissy also used fine print to hide important information when promoting their product. In promoting their product. Use creatives. Remember, you must write the sentence as it is. Meaning, in this regard, uh, this one is going to be uh, this uh, sentence, which is sentence, um, sentence number, sentence number, or sentence four. Okay, right. So now let's move on to the next question. Next question we have um, uh, 3.6, discuss the impact of corporate social uh, responsibility on communities. And also if the question says you must discuss the impact, the, ex the expectation is to come up with uh, both positive and negative. Okay, right. So now here, we are going to have uh, the negative as well as the positive. Positive one, uh, we are saying that uh, community skills can be improved through the previous uh, provision of uh, bursaries and also better education facilities are established for communities. And then the bad one or the negative can be businesses are not always equipped to address social problems. Okay, right. So now here we're saying that uh, community skills. And improve through the provision of bursaries okay right it also said that the positive one can be that better education ability
प्लीज गो कम्युनिटी And the last one, which is negative, we said that businesses are not always equipped to address social problems. Teacher, we then we have landed on question 3.7. It treats for suggest ways in which are professional, are responsible, ethical, and effective uh, business practices should be conducted. We have six marks for that. So now, if we have six marks for that, this shows that they should draw up a code of ethics or conduct, and also they should plan properly and put um, preventive measures in place, as well as mission statements should include the values of um, equality or respect. Go up. Hold of ethics. One. Plan. Properly. Food and the majors last one mission then. Good. Values of quality is there. Okay, right. We just we are already uh, there. Now at this level, uh, we are done with our um, uh, question. Question. Um, Three. Okay, great job. So now we have landed um, on question uh, four, in particular 4.1. Uh, it reads as follows state any three vectors uh, that should be considered when making investment decisions. So now we should check return on investment, we should check, we should check the level of risk, also check uh, the investment period, also check the inflation rate. Over check uh, the taxation, also check uh, the liquidity. So now we are going to see that um, we should check, uh, well, this is what we must check. Uh, we should also check the following. That we check uh, the risk, we say that with that. Also uh, check um, liquidity as well as taxation. Check risk. Check the also check uh, okay right so now moving on to uh, 4.2 4.2 is as follows Rava traders RT the, the management of RT uh, ensures that both the business and employees each contribute one percent of their wages to the Department of Labor contribution is compulsory as specified in legislation so two 4.2.1, identify the type of compulsory insurance applicable to the scenario above. So now here we have what road accident fund. We have road then So now identify the type of compound insurance to the scenario above. As I said, we have um, both um, accident um, funds. Okay, right. So now, um, 
Kiwi check there, uh, this uh, is funded by the levy on the sale of um, um, petrol. Okay, unemployment uh, insurance fund. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This one should be unemployment insurance fund. Um, unemployment. Unemployment insurance You have two marks for that. So now let's check the second one. Explain one type of compulsory insurance. So now the compulsory insurance uh, is what is road accident fund. That I wanted to explain. This is um road accident. So now we have to give um uh, the, the explanation. So this is funded, is funded a living. Okay, so now moving on to the next question. Next question we have what we have uh, 4.3, 4 4.3 as for discuss how the following criteria uh, could contribute to the success and all the failure of our partnership. So now we have capital. So now we should take into account how capital can uh, actually uh, contribute towards the success or the failure of the business. Remember, great talks, whenever we talk of the success of the business, this regard, it means that uh, we check whether the business is making profit. So if the business is making profit, then we can say that uh, that particular business is successful. So now let's check um, capital. Let's check um, capital, success and failure of capital. Relate the capital. Need it. Start. Failure. Partners. Not all have capital put in business and needed. Okay, right. So now let's check on the side of management. Uh, partners are actively involved in management and may use uh, the ideas of other partners. The failures, decision making can be time consuming as all partners have to be targeted. So now we're saying that um, partners actively. Of this man
in property management may use ideas the success on the failure is the decision making selecting B consuming or partners today Okay, right, great talks. Now we have uh, landed uh, in question 4.4. 4.4 is as follow. I guess situations in which uh, the laser spur leadership style can be applied in the workplace. Can be applied uh, when the leader is very busy and delegation of tasks will increase productivity. Also, team members need to improve or develop leadership skills. Members group develop Right. Second one is the leader. Very busy. Delegation. Us. Please. Okay, right. So now moving on to the next question, uh, we have 4.5. 4.5 reads as follow. Name for corporate um, social investment uh, focus areas. So remember, it should focus on community, rural development, employees, as well as environment. Area we have community. Do we have uh, employees? Do we have environment? Number four, we have rural development. Okay, right. So now moving on to the next question. Next question we have. Um, uh, question 4.6 and 4.6 is this, this as for the champion winner which is cw uh Ntiki is a team leader for cw which uh, consists of highly skilled team members all members agreed on set roles and uh, responsibilities they also know that all tasks must be completed before the team uh solved identify two, two stages of our uh, team development that were experienced by CF, uh, cw what if you answer by quoting from the scenario above? You see the table below as a guide. That's our question 4.6. So we are given the table. 
we perform the first column, we have the stages of team development. Second one, we have where you uh, motivate. So now, if you check whatsoever that we are given here, uh, we have norming and also we have um, a training. So now, here, the first one, we have um, norming stage. Then here we have training or stage. We hear all members speed rows and also they also know that all tasks must be completed before the team goes. Okay, right. So now at this level, great talks, uh, we have uh, landed ourselves in what um, uh, 4.7 4.7 the, the, the expectation is to discuss the impact of our nominal group technique in solving complex business uh, problems and remember if the question says um, the impact is to take into account um, uh, the positive as well as the negative so now the positive ones it provides time to think about the question uh, in silence and before responding also focusing on the ideas is anonymous and may be more reliable. So now when it comes to the negatives, negatives um strong techniques of defending informally uh, to group defense and also some small groups limit participation and are uh, pre selected. Okay, right. So now we're saying that then that positive voting on ideas. Ideas anonymous may be more like. Second one, then that strong technique and when you talk of technique, you talk of strategy. Bending. Committee group uh, pressure. Okay. Then we have the last one. Last one, I will say that more groups limit this patient. Open it with as follow advise businesses on the benefits of diversity in the workplace. What are the benefits? Diversity in the workplace um, does um, prove the morale and motivation of uh, uh, the subordinates. Also, employees from different backgrounds can bring different respective or perspectives to uh, the instead of our uh, business. So now you're saying that diversity. Workplace groups of 
Portugal. Last one. Please. Different background. Different. Sexy. Okay, right, great job. So now at this uh, juncture, we have um, completed our section. Section B. Now let's move on to section C. So section C, remember, we are, we are faced with um, the ESA question. And under ESA question, I always tell you that whenever you are dealing with the ESA question, uh, make sure that um, uh, you just you master the structure. And how will you master the structure? In this regard, you should make sure that you provide with your introduction. And then you also provide with your conclusion. Right. So now, if we check um, the introduction, introduction, you can approach it like this. Did us develop a vision to set um, direction uh, for the business? That is one mark. Also, you can say managers are analytical thinking as they make different types of decisions. So now, if we check the, we are done with the introduction, we have already scored ourselves two marks. So now, let's move on to the body. Body, we have uh, four points, uh, four, four bullets. So now, this four bullets, Normally, they comprise of our, um, our subheading. So now, under the first subheading, uh, you must uh, give the differences between uh, the leadership and management. So now, under management, remember management uh, is where guides um, human behavior and leadership influences uh, human uh, behavior. Also, under management, task-oriented, under leadership, uh, people-oriented. Under management, uh, does things right, but under leadership, uh, does the right thing. So now moving on to uh, the next plate where you have to explain the transformational leadership theory. So now under this one, uh, it is suitable for a dynamic environment where change could be drastic. It also, of uh, course, for leaders have the to the trust or respect or administration of their followers or subordinates. Also, it encourages followers to explore or try new things uh, or opportunities. Also, leaders are lead by examples and make workers interested in their way. Okay, right. So now, let's move on to the impact. Discuss the impact of the foreign leadership styles on businesses. We have democratic and autocratic. Remember, democratic leadership style is where a leader involves um, subordinates when it comes to decision making, while when it comes to autocratic leadership style, is where a leader takes a decision alone, doesn't involve uh, any subordinate. Right. So now let's check out the impact. Uh, the impact of a uh, democratic, uh, in particular, we are going to check the positive. Employees participate in the decision making process so they feel um, positive. And also, the staff gives a variety of ideas um, that can lead to innovation or improved production methods or increased um, uh, sales. Okay, right, great job. So now let's check the negative of democratic. Uh, employees may feel discouraged if they are or their opinions or inputs are not uh, considered, also not effective in terms of crisis when quick decisions uh, need to be made. Okay, right. So now let's check um, our autocratic um, leadership style, the positive one. Work gets done in time or schedule, and also targets can uh, clearly be uh, specified. As well, there is the direct supervision uh, that ensure high quality uh, products or sales. So now let's check. Um, uh, the bad part of it, which is uh, negative. This demotivates workers, uh, which are impact negatively on production of goods and services. Also, followers may feel that they are not valued, resulting in high absenteeism of employee or turnover. Okay, right. So now, because let's check um, how we can best advise businesses on the role of personal attitude to successful leadership.
So it means that this is the last bullet. So this positive attitude releases leadership potential for personal growth. A leader's good attitude can influence the success of the business. Head leaders understand that the right attitude will set the right atmosphere. Leaders' attitude may influence employee teams growth or behavior. Also, leaders should model the behavior that they want to see in their team members. So now, at this level, now we have landed on conclusion. Conclusion can uh, go as some follow. Uh, competent managers are able to see beyond the current situation and plan ahead of time. Okay, right. We just at this juncture, we are actually done with our uh, question uh, five. Now we have landed on our question question six. So remember, I always tell you that great job should always um, make sure that you only put your introduction. These are already your what your subheading, and they make your body. And then here you have what. Conclusion. Okay, right. So now, under your introduction, remember the expectation is always to explain uh, the key way or to explain the concept under study. So, in this regard, our introduction, uh, we can see that um, the business environment is volatile and requires advanced creative thinking skills for effective decisions. Also, creating creative thinking in our businesses to differentiate their products and develop. Uh, new ways of doing the business. So now, let's check the bullets that are given. The first one we expected uh, to give the difference uh, between the problem solving as well as decision making. So now let's check <coughs> the difference between these two. Problem solving. Problems can be solved by a group or a team which make the uh, process uh, consultative. Also, under decision making, it is often done by one person or a member of a senior management who makes the process uh, Operation. So now, also under the problem solving, alternative solutions are um, generated, which is identified and critically evaluated. So now, when it comes to uh, decision making, various alternatives are considered before deciding on the best one. So now, let's quickly move on on the move on to explain ways in which our uh, businesses can create um, an environment that promotes uh, creative thinking in the workplace, and that is the second bullet. Remember. So now. Uh, which is very easy. This encourages alternative ways of working or doing things. Emphasize the importance of creative thinking to ensure that all staff know that management wants to hear the ideas. Place suggestion boxes around the workplace and keep communication channels open uh, for new ideas. Encourage job swaps uh, with the organization or study how other businesses are doing things. Respond emphatically. Uh, to all ideas and never let anyone feel less important. Also reward uh, creativity uh, with uh, reward schemes for teams or individuals that come up with uh, creative um, ideas or those that are, are creative. Okay, right. So now we have landed ourselves on a period number three where you have to discuss the advantages of creative thinking in a workplace. So better unique uh, conventional idea solutions are generated this may also give the business a competitive advantage if um, unique solutions uh, are implemented. Also, complex uh, business problems may be solved. So managers or employees have more confidence as they can live up to their full potential. So managers also be uh, better leaders as they will be able to handle or manage um, changes positively uh, or creatively. As well, managers or employees can develop a completely new Outlook, which may be applied to any task uh, that they may actually uh, pursue or do. Also improves motivation among some members. And this great job it is so important because in a business, there should be a teamwork. And when there's a teamwork, it means that um, uh, the subordinates will reach or made or attain or achieve the expected uh, set of goals or objectives. Okay, right. So now we have landed now on last bullet, where you are advised uh, to actually um, show how uh, the following uh, methods of problem solving normally operate. We have the technique as well as post field analysis. So we are going to start with um, the heavy technique. So now businesses must invite a panel of experts to research uh, the complaints from the customers. Also, experts do not have to be in one place and will be 
conducted individually. Summarize the responses from the experts and um, uh, write the report. That is under Devi Technics. In Devi Technics, uh, the experts are actually uh, invited from this set of um, areas. So now we have first speed analysis. Just describe the current situation or problem and uh, desired uh, situation. Also, if the, pro the project is viable, once the project is so viable, uh, it does find ways to increase the forces uh, for such changes. Just also identify priorities and develop an action plan. Okay, right. Great to have at this juncture, uh, we have now landed onto our conclusion. Remember, our conclusion is either you get two or go back home with zero. So now, conclusion, uh, we can actually approach it in this um, sort of manner. The easiest way you can actually say that businesses should put um, systems in place that will enable them to overcome competition in the market. Remember when you talk of the market, it's a great platform where goods and services are being bought and sold. Remember this sort of market in previous lessons, we've been actually discussing this set of the market that um, the sections can actually be performed uh, either physically or electronically where uh, a, a, a buyer or a seller normally use any device uh, or internet. At this juncture, I would like to say thank you and shalom.